So before we actually get into what radians are, um, I think more importantly is why, why do we even need radians? I mean, we have degrees, and I like degrees. Degrees are easy to work with. They, I understand them. Um, but why, why radians? So um, basically, radians are much cleaner and simpler to work with, and that is because the notion of degrees is actually made up by men. I mean, have you ever thought of why uh, full rotation is considered a 360? Why not another arbitrary number? Um, and that is because a long time ago, some people noticed that um, the star's positions changed 360 times a year in relation to Earth. So if we were on another planet, let's say Mars, our full rotations would not be considered a 360, but a 687. But getting back to what actually radians are, let me just get a new screen up here. So a while ago, a smart guy noticed that if you take a circle, I'm just trying to here, let me trace another circle over here. There, that's a nicer circle. So a smart guy noticed that if you took the radius of a circle, I'm just going to change color here, and if you folded it against the circumference of that circle, and then, so here's the radius folded against the circumference, and that formed an angle, and he called this angle a radian. Um, this angle equals to 50, what is it, 57.3 degrees for every circle. This is true for all circles. So that was kind of interesting, and that's an interesting pattern. So then what he did is he actually, if you uh, stack these radians up, so if you put, you know, take that radius again, and so you take that radian and you put it over here, and then you basically put it over here, you have half a circle, or what is considered to be 180 degrees. So you have one, two, three radians and this little bit left over actually over here which is 0.14. So 180 degrees equals to 3.14 radians or pi radians. And since circles are symmetrical, so the same thing happens on this side, so then 360 degrees equals two, two pi radians, right? Because we have half a circle is a pi radians, one, two, three, and a little bit, and then the other half is two pi radians, okay? So that's one thing, but now how do we convert, uh, oh yes, and this is true for all circles. So now how do we convert from degrees to radians or radians to degrees? So I'm going to get a clean screen here. Again, the key relationship to remember here is that pi equals, or pi radians, excuse me, equals 180 degrees. So keeping that in mind that 180 degrees is, remember, pi radians. There's one radian, two radian, three radian, and that 0.14 pi radians. 
Okay, so let's take something pretty straightforward and just convert 90 degrees to radians. So the first thing, um, basically you're going to need to know how many radians are there per degree. Remembering this key relationship, we know that there are pi radians per 180 degrees. So then the degrees cancel out. So 90, so we have 90 times pi radians 180. 80. So then both of these are divisible by 90. So 90 by 90, we got pi over 2 radians. So 90 degrees equals pi over 2 radians. And this makes perfect sense actually when you think of it because remember, pi radians is 180 degrees and if you divide that in half I'm just going to switch colors here well there's your 90 degree angle right okay so let's do another one let's do radians to um, degrees this time. So again, key relationship to remember is that pi radians equals to 180 degrees. Okay, just always like to, you know, remind myself what it is that we're actually um, talking about here. And so let's do 5 over 4 pi radians into degrees. So we need to know how many degrees there are per radians. And we know that there are 180 degrees per every pi radians. So pi radians cancel out. Oh, this is multiply, not equals. Um, so then 5 times 180 is 900. And that'll be over 4 degrees. And 4 goes into 900, 225 times. So 5 over 4 pi radians equals to 225 degrees. And this also makes sense because if you remember that pi radians is 180 degrees or half a circle, so if pi radians are, you know, four little, try to do four, my drawing is bad here, um, four into four little sections here. So if the circle was symmetrical, well, that fifth section would be right about here, which is right about 225 degrees or 5 over 4 pi radians. Okay, so I hope that makes it a little bit more clear, but basically every time you convert um, from radians and degrees or degrees to radians, just remember this key relationship of pi radians um, equals to 180 degrees. And good luck!